Good morning, everybody. This is the Robert Escobar Show for Friday, June 11th. I'm making these videos because I think the system's broken. I think we need to use the internet and social media to inform and organize each other to create solutions. Um, since it's Friday and I'm still trying to get my Twitter account unsuspended, I'd fig I figured we'd do a Robert's Rules since we haven't done one in a while. And I think I got a good one. Uh, recently, I hung out with somebody and halfway during the date, I realized that this girl was completely full of shit. Like she was, I want to say two-faced is the right word. Um, and what I mean by that is a different version of her actual self. So don't be two-faced. That's my rule for today. Okay. Um, I feel like sometimes you act and say things um, because you think that it's going to make a person like you and no, you know, like I've been called a lot of things in my life, but I can, I, I'm happy to say I've never been called two-faced, you know, like, um, so my rule for today, again, do not be two-faced. How do you don't be two-faced? Um, just be honest about your uh, opinions and ideas, you know? Don't try to uh, embellish your stories or lie to make yourself seem cooler, you know? Like, when I was a kid, my mom used to get mad at me all the time because when we would go somewhere and she'd be talking to her friends and she would say something that was a lie, I would say, that's not true. And she'd just look at me and give me this look like, shut up. And I remember, you know, like thinking to myself, if you're so cool, then why didn't you really say that? Or why didn't you really do that? Why are you, you know, saying you did or said that after the fact? You know, like that's that to me, even as a child, seemed like bullshit. OK, and I would call my mom on that shit out, shit all the time. All right. Um. So don't be artificial, you know, to impress others. Um, be okay with the fact that, you know, some people are not going to like you, you know, like some people are not going to think you're cool. Some people are going to think you're a fucking loser, you know, and it, what matters is what you think. Okay. So um, how do you spot these people? You know, like, how do you spot people who are two-faced? Um, the internet gave me a couple uh, suggestions. It says, your friendship is conditional. Uh, your friend acts differently when they're around other people. Um, they speak poorly of you when you're not around. Now, this to me is a big one. You know, like, I've always said, you know, like, how people speak about others is the way they speak about you. And... You know, we all are in a bit of denial about that. You know, we think like, you know, no, they're just talking shit about them. They don't, they don't say that shit about me. But then, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, like, if anything, it's worse. Okay, <laughs> you know, like, um, they will stop talking to you when you have a disagreement. Um, they disappear when someone more interesting shows up. Bye. You know, like, I'm hanging out with this guy. You want to hang out? Oh, oh, no, no. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, they always seem to want something from you, you know, like either to, you know, complain or bitch, you know, but when you tell them, you know, like what to fucking do about it, you know, they never fucking do it. Right. Um, uh, they stop hanging out with you. If you say no to them, uh, they never try to help you achieve your goals. Um, this is one that, you know, like, I think people don't, you know, really recognize a lot. Um, you know, looking back at my life, every time I've struggled, um, the people that I thought were my closest friends, they never even offered to help me. If anything, they just laugh at your struggles. You know, they think it's funny. Um, and honestly, like, my coworkers... I can, I can honestly say, like, they're the ones who, you know, are probably my closest friends because, 
you know, they're the ones who have seen me struggle and they're the ones who have actually like helped me, like, you know, lent me money, you know, like helped me get a job, you know, like, you know, called, you know, gave me that reference, you know, and I'm not saying that your friendship should be conditional on those things, but pay attention, okay, guys, because there are some, some of you who just, they hang out with people and those people are not your friends, believe me. Um, they always try to bring you down. They don't listen to you. Um, they see your needs and wants as a nuisance and they don't accept you for who you are. So those are some ways on how to spot people who are two-faced. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? How do you tell if someone is two-faced? Let me know. Have a great day.